Good evening, everyone, on this wonderful Christmas Eve, and glad that you are joining us this evening on this very special night. I'm Trudy Paul. I'm the associate pastor here at Asbury United Methodist Church, and along with the senior pastor, Tom Tarver, we welcome you with along with everyone that's here in our group tonight, and also the you that are watching with us tonight in our congregation, and that you would love to have you come to visit with us as we worship together in person tonight or on your computer or on the TV, we welcome you at this time. As we celebrate this time tonight, the birth of our Savior, we ask you to join with us in song and message as we celebrate once again together. Now, at the end of the service, and we'll all have a candle to light. Don't worry, if you don't have a candle with you, you've got a flashlight where you've got a telephone that has a light on it. So dim the lights wherever you are. Hold your light up as we light that to show the light of Jesus Christ to all the world as we celebrate in our homes here together in this building. Christ our Savior is born. Amen. Amen. We look through the darkness. We look for light, but find darkness. For brightness, but walk in gloom. We grope like those who have no eyes. We stumble at noon as in the twilight. If I say, let only darkness cover me, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. Blessed be your name, O God, forever. You reveal deep and mysterious things. You are light, and in you is no darkness. Our darkness is passing away, and already the true light is shining. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Messiah, King, Savior, Emmanuel. Word made flesh, light of the world, Lord. We know Jesus by all these names and many others. We light the Christ candle in celebration of his birth and of the hope, joy, love, and peace he brings to us and to the whole world. No one has ever seen God, but in Jesus Christ, God is made known. Let us pray. Eternal God, by the birth of Jesus Christ, you gave yourself to the world. Grant that, being born in our hearts, you he may save us from all our sins and restore within us the image and the likeliness of our Creator, to whom be everlasting praise and glory, world without end. Amen. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth and gathered Galilee in Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. Oh, 
said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the child. And all who had heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that had heard, they had heard and seen, which were which were just as they had been told. Oh, 
Good evening. My name is Tom Carver. I'm the lead pastor here at Asbury uh, United Methodist Church in Corpus Christi. I'm glad that you are able to join us uh, this evening. You know, I, I was uh, reflecting on the uh, Christmas Eve candlelight services that uh, I've experienced over the years, and the earliest memory of that was grade school when we lived across the bay in Corpus Christi and we went to the First United Methodist Church. Actually, it was the first Methodist church in, in those days, the first Methodist church in Portland. And, uh, and I just remember, uh, in, you know, my, my parents had six kids in six years and, uh, and uh, decided that their favorite car was a Volkswagen uh, Beetle. And so we would pile all six kids of us, my parents in, the, in that Beetle, and we would drive basically around the block just to uh, get to church in, in, on uh, Christmas Eve. And, and do the candlelight service there. And as a kid, I was always fascinated by the fact that we could actually uh, handle fire uh, in church and see that light being passed from, from one candle to the next. Uh, I also remember uh, my first time as a, a pastor is in Carrizo Springs at First United Methodist Church uh, there in Carrizo Springs. It was uh, December uh, 24th, 1984, a lot of years back. And, and I, I remember uh, to this day uh, that moment when we, we, we had already uh, started lighting the candles and we were singing uh, Silent Night, Holy Night, and, and, and Rose Frears, who was uh, playing uh, the, the organ that night, that began to hit the chimes. And to this day, I still hear those chimes uh, on, on Christmas Eve. Uh, it, it's, it's been uh, always a very special time uh, of, of the year, and, and it's almost always been the same year in and year out uh, that we would uh, we would recite uh, or hear again the the Christmas story, usually out of Luke chapter two, uh, and then we would sing uh, familiar Christmas songs, and, and then that moment when we pass the uh, you know we lit uh, the candles, and, and always it was Silent Night that that we sang. In fact, tonight we will sing. Uh, silent night again. Uh, but then we come to this year, <laughs> and this has been the most odd year uh, of my entire life uh, as, a, as a pastor. It's, it's been uh, a challenging year. It's been a, a time, uh, well, I don't need to tell you. You know exactly what kind of time it's been. It's been a difficult and at times very dark uh, uh, period in, in our lives as Americans, and, and we are just joining the rest of the world in experiencing what we're experiencing. And, and that's why tonight, these are the words I need to hear again. First of all, there's the words, do not be afraid. That's what the angel told uh, the, the, those who gathered together, or those who were watching the, their sheep that night. Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. That those are, are, are words that I believe I probably have heard every single Christmas season. But there's also a Christmas narrative that is, uh, is not uh, is not read very often. Uh, in, in fact, it's not even considered a Christmas narrative, but it is. It's about the birth of Jesus. When it says, uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word uh, was with God, and the Word was God. And then a little later on, this is, a, this is the Christmas narrative. The Word became flesh. And that's, that's the birth announcement uh, of the King of Kings. But it's in the midst of that, where, when John, who was a follower of Jesus, uh, penned these words, he says, says about Jesus, in him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. And, and, I, and I think about that. You know, this pandemic, uh, it's, it started off in Asia, and it moved into, into Europe, and eventually it, it crossed the ocean and, and came to, to America. And so the whole world uh, lies in, in darkness and, and sin and error pine. The whole world is experiencing this. And, and, and the word that comes to us from, from the ancients is that 
this one who is the light is the light of all of mankind. Uh, he has come to, to save all people everywhere. And so when I continue reading, this is what gives me hope. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome. I want you to join me and in, in, in repeat after me those words. And as we repeat these words, uh, Pastor Trudy is going to come up and be the first uh, to light the, 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 uh, the, her candle off of the Christ candle. And the, then we here are going to light uh, the candle. But let's start with... The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. Great. Now, I can't expect them to do it at home if y'all won't even do it here. So let's try that again. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. And the darkness has not overcome it. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. And the darkness has not overcome it. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. And the darkness has not overcome it. And with that, I am going to begin the passing on and, and let's join together. My prayer is the light is shining in your home tonight as it shines here.
Merry Christmas. May God bless you and keep you in this season and the seasons to come. And may you find not only joy in the birth of Christ, but may you find joy in the life of Christ, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.